The Mavic Zoom is a really cool outdoor aircraft. We can do dolly zoom and we can change the focal and the photo shooting results are quite amazing. So in the first section of this video I will show you uh, HDR shooting with three images. The most important thing for good pictures is always that you have a good location to take your shooting and that you keep enough distance from other people. I added in the latest release a delay where we can after the yaw section or the gimbal section stop and wait until we take the picture. You can select this delay from 0 to 2.25 seconds. Delay settings helps also to have precise aircraft positioning. If you use the RAW format to take HDR shootings, it can go up to 50 seconds per position. At the end of the shooting, don't forget to save the XML file. If you forget to do that, you can do it later with the XML creator. So let's have a look on the first shooting. It's about 2200 meters and we have the first real snow this winter. On this image you can see the cliff walk, very amazing view down the rocks. And they are still preparing the slopes. This is the black slope from the Grindelwald first down to the port. Actually you have half a meter, but they announce another meter for the next week. Now we will have a look on the raw shooting. So they built this cliff walk in an overhanging rock. It's very impressive. I will show you the settings again. So we can have a delay from 0 to 2.25 seconds. You can choose your own delay and it's for the gimbal and also for the aircraft yaw. I'm actually on 24 mm focal lens. You can change that in a similar way like in the DigiGo 4 app, directly in the app. So we will speed up the whole shooting. As you can see, we use only 21 images. And at the end, I will also show you the Zenit shots. At the end of the shooting, you have always the reminder to save the XML file. I use Google Drive to do that, so it's very easy. After landing, we can do our Zenit shots. I use the Yaw status bar to do so. So I have red lines every 90 degrees. And the yellow angle is the angle of the aircraft. So you have to choose about 60 degrees that you are perfectly in line and the last image directly in the zenith at zero degrees. So it's really easy to do that. You can always recreate the XML file with the XML creator. Here we can see the Mavic Zoom settings. That's the final result of the raw shooting. The important point is always that you have a good location to do your shootings. I was over this cliff here, so very amazing image. Now let's have a look on Hyperlight. We can do that with both aircraft, Mavic 2 Zoom, Mavic 2 Pro. But the Mavic 2 Pro can go up to 3200 ISO and the Mavic 2 Zoom only to 1600. Always use fluorescence light, change the image mode to hyperlight and then search your place to do the shooting. Hyperlight takes three images, calculate the median pixel from each image and that takes quite a lot of time to do so. If you have one second exposure time it can go up to 80 seconds to have one picture. 
Don't forget to focal your lens and take always several shootings from the same place. You can always have blurred images if you have one second exposure time. But with one battery you can easily take seven shootings. So let's speed up a little bit this shooting section. I took this shooting for the Kirschbrill Hotel in Grindelwald. So it's in the center of the image. Also the small church, it's very nice on this image. With this technique we have more dynamic range and with the snow you can easily light up the whole image. I took this image after the sunset and we can even see the stars in the sky. I will show you another shooting with more light in the center of the village. Important focal lens. And as I told you, it can goes up to 80 seconds for one position to exposure the image and calculate all together. It's not possible to do uh, these shootings if you have windy conditions. I use a gimbal autolock technique in my app to have stabilized camera. And with the snow and all the winter decoration that gives really amazing images. So if you have a Mavic 2, try it yourself to do some night shootings and have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next time, thank you for watching.